Good morning. Let's take care of another part of my room while I try to slowly put my life back together to help me get through burnout. In the last video you saw that I took care of my desk and now we're just going to chat a little bit while I take care of another area. And I'm wearing this hat first thing in the morning because it's the only way that I could get my microphone close enough to my mouth where you could hear me hands-free because anywhere I clipped it onto my shirt you couldn't hear me. I don't know why, this seems to be the spot right there where the little green dot is. So we're just going to go with it. Okay, come along. Let's get some things done as long as my Osmo will work with me. So I've got a bed to make, but I'm not going to um, include the bed in taking time to organize and clean things up because that's a daily thing. So, and I have to kind of whisper because it's early and it's dark and I'm the only person awake right now. So I'm going to take care of just putting some laundry away for a few minutes while we, while we chat. So I think that I'm just going to put you back over here on my now clean desk. So I'm working on this bucket of laundry this morning. That's what I feel like doing. And we'll talk while I put it away. Um, actually, I think I'll start by hanging this back up. I hang my things to dry um, instead of using the dryer all the time, so my closet area ends up being the place where I hang things to dry. So these are the things that I've been thinking about lately. I've been thinking that I am going to ask for some time off from work so that I can do some sort of mental and emotional healing work. Um, because what I'm thinking is, since last year, when I found out that I was um, neurodivergent, I haven't, there's a cat toy in my laundry basket. Um, I haven't had any time to process that information um, wholly and completely because I've had to work. And, oh gosh, you know, this is hard for me. This is a neurodivergent thing that's happening right now, to be quite honest with you, is that I have a specific way that I like to put my clothes away. And while I'm talking to you about important things, I'm not putting my clothes away the way that I usually do. That's an organizational ADHD thing going on right there. I haven't had time to process um, all of what it means for me to be neurodivergent and to be an autistic ADHD -er. and it's I, like I need to figure out what that means and figure out how I need to a little bit more about how I need to take care of myself um, because I've been still going at the pace that I've always been going which has led me to burnout and I'm I think that having some time to figure that out and work with her and have some real deep rest um, would be beneficial to me. So that's where I'm going to start in taking care of me. Um, because work isn't going to get easier. What I have to do with work is I have to make some really hard, fast, hard and fast choices about um, how I want to show up in my job for the next few years, like in what capacity I'm willing to do that. And I'm working on that a little bit right now, quite honestly, um, figuring out how I want to show up. Um, I've noticed that in me trying to um, take a step back from working so hard that I'm having to overcome a lot of perfectionism <laughs> and that's showing up even right now as I'm putting my laundry away like I need to have it done a specific way and that's fine for here but at work when um, it's not just about me and managing other people too it makes it a little bit harder 
And so that's one of the areas that I want to work on is figuring out how I'm going to show up there. Um, what I've been doing lately, yeah, oh, and if you don't know, I teach. I'm an elementary school teacher, and I've been doing that for 26 years. Uh, this is my 26th year. Um, so what I've been doing lately, just like the first step in trying not to be everything to everybody first, is to um, get to work closer to contract time. So when you're a teacher, you have a contracted time, as with a lot of jobs that you have to be there by. So our contract time is 740, and if you're there, I think, I think actually now it's 743. But if you're there after 740, you're late. Um, when I was a parent and I was, had to bring my kids to school in the morning, um, I was late often and I was rushing and um, then I would stay later on the days that I didn't have to pick them up to make up for it. Um, and then as soon as my daughter um, graduated from high school and I was no longer taking her to school, um, that whole year I got to work. I was the first one there. I arrived at 7 in the morning and worked an extra 40 minutes um, to have my day planned and organized and it was actually really nice. I got a lot done. Um, I was calm at work. But doing that every day kind of ate up parts of me that I haven't been able to get back. So the first area is to show up closer to contract time and then leave um, closer to the ending time. So that same year that I was arriving last year at uh, four o'clock, I mean, <laughs> sorry, the first year that I was arriving at seven o'clock, I would stay at work afterwards until four or sometimes, sorry, that was a boob shot, <laughs> until four or sometimes 4.30 to get work done and plan the next day. And I was really pushing the limits um, and at that point, I knew about my neurodivergence. I knew that I was, um, but I hadn't yet processed what that meant for me. I hadn't yet understood um, how much rest that meant that I was going to need. So I just worked through it, and I'm paying for it now. So what I'm trying to do now is um, leave closer to contract end time. The inevitable single sock. There's only one. Maybe the other one is in that laundry basket. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's in that laundry basket over there. But that's aggravating. Um, so I'm going to try to... I'm working on that. Leaving closer to the end of my contract time, which is 2.35. And if I arrive at 7.40 and leave at 2.35. I'm giving myself more time for me. So that's what I'm currently working on trying to do. But then I also need to figure out how I want to better show up for myself while I'm there during the work day. So let's talk that through for a minute. What I want to be able to do for myself during the work day, oh, not that drawer, <laughs> this drawer, what I want to be able to do for myself during the work day is to um, really take my breaks when they're given to me and not use them to get extra work done. So we have um, the kids go to recess at 10 o'clock. And that's a 20 minute break for me. And then they go to lunch at 1140. And that's a 50 minute break for me. Um, and during that time, that's usually time when teachers like run around and get a whole bunch of stuff done. Um, but I need to build in more rest. So um, I'm 
not going to try to run around and get stuff done. I'm just going to take them out to where they need to go and pick them up and bring them back. And in between, um, I'm going to rest. Like, I have to, I can't, when you're a teacher, the, the, we're not just teaching. Those of you who are teachers say here, we're not just teaching, we're doing everything. We're teaching, we're keeping up with emails, we're keeping contact with parents, we're filling out paperwork, we're going to meetings, we're planning curriculum, we're correcting papers, we are evaluating data, we are setting up learning groups, um, we are cleaning up the classroom, we are the designers, we're putting things up on the walls and taking stuff down. Right, And since everybody wants to be able to go home as soon as possible at the end of each day, a lot of us have worked through our breaks. Um, but the job is never done. Like There's a, a, a list that just goes on and on and on, sometimes from one year through the next. Anyway, I, I need to carve in some more time for myself. And that's what I'm going to work on doing. And I'm going to feel better. And um, my energy will come back. And my desire to do life outside of work will also magically reappear. Um, and maybe, maybe, this is something I'm going to work on. Sorry, my cat scared me. Um, maybe I'll be able to retire before four years is up. One of my subscribers, who I um, appreciate a lot, made a comment to me the other day um, that had me thinking and it was something like I feel like you're waiting to give yourself permission to retire just do it and yeah like I appreciate you like dropping that into my head for me to think about um, I I would just do it if I could just like do it um, financially I can't just do it I've got to you know make some arrangements there but it was important to me on another point because um, even that said even knowing that like financially I have to plan for it I can't just I'm, I, I don't live the lifestyle or in a situation where I can just wash my hands of work and leave it but that's part of the mental gymnastics that are going on and that I think go on with a lot of people when they come to this stage in their life where they've had a full career is um, needing to give themselves permission to, to do it because I've and you too have defined this whole quarter of a century on being an employee and unwinding that um, messaging and unwinding that um, that emotion and um, unwinding myself from all of those activities is, is not easy. Like, I can't just snap out of it. It's, it's what I've done for the majority of my adult life. So I, I really do appreciate that you saying that, and I don't want to name the person. I want to thank you, though, for getting me to think about um, how important it is to really spend some time preparing my mind for um, for what this is going to mean for me. So I don't even think that now would be a good time for me to just do it and leave because I'm not mentally and emotionally prepared yet for it, but I want to talk about it because in talking about it, that's how I process things and um, that's how I'm going to do it. Okay, I think that's all I need to say. Oh, and by the way, the laundry basket is now empty. So I accomplished that. Next time I'll be working on the other laundry basket in the corner and getting those clothes put away. And um, then we'll tackle one of the two corners of stuff that I showed you the other day. Either the art supplies and journals or the probably not the corner that has the mail in it because opening mail has become a weird thing for me. So that corner is probably not going to get tackled, to be quite honest. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Love you.